urban man can sometimes be coaxed away from his usual habitat. Today he's been lured by a leaflet to take part in a national park guided walk. John Steele is warden for the Cheviot Hills. He knows the place and its people. He'll be leading today's walk. John has chosen the route carefully, nothing too severe. So don't let the imagination run riot. At last, everyone's ready, and away they go. The walk follows the Hot Hope Burn, which has tumbled its way from high on the slopes of the Cheviot. It is the life source of many of the plants and animals in the valley. Along the shingle riverbanks, lots of plants are in flower. Some, like this wild thyme, are perfectly edible and have been used for centuries as kitchen herbs. Mmm, just the thing for a tasty casserole. but not quite what he is used to. These trees are alders growing close to water. Their ancestors have probably grown here for 6,000 years. The only people around here then were nomadic hunters living on deer meat and berries. By now, people are relaxing into the walk, kicking off the city dust, and enjoying the fine weather as their path carries them to Lang Lee. Questions come thick and fast. How did the hills come about? What made them? If anyone had been standing on this spot 300 million years ago, their boots would be melting. At that time, the Cheviots were part of a huge volcanic cone, covered by molten lava. Andesite and granite boulders washed down the rivers from the head of the Cheviots are pieces in this geological jigsaw. Now their path leads up, and from fire to ice. 